Hey, 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 what the heck? What the heck? Sorry, guys. My name is OK. You thought I was going to take three more weeks before I upload another video. Guess what? You are wrong. And because of that, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and my guy, comment and say I was wrong because of you were starting to turn my class into a squatter camp. All right, today we'll be speaking about anti cyclones. What are anti cyclones? Anti cyclones are high pressure weather systems which occur in winter and they rotate counterclockwise or they could say anti-clockwise in the southern hemisphere and clockwise in the northern hemisphere okay let's write down the definition i said they are high pressure weather systems which occur in winter and rotate anti clockwise in the southern hemisphere and clockwise in the northern hemisphere so let's break down this definition i said they are high pressure what did i say about high pressure if you do not remember watch the video i dropped before this one i said high pressure simply means descending air right or we could say subsiding or subsiding air sinking air any word or any term you may use but then it has to sink okay then we continue when does it okay it occurs in winter why in winter because of the high pressure it is strong in winter descending air it is strong in winter which air is usually descending heavy cold air it is the air that usually descends what else it rotates anti-clockwise in the southern hemisphere i'm going to be talking about the southern hemisphere because of that is where i'm coming from so when we are talking about anti this is obviously what we are talking about this is anti-clockwise and obviously this is our isobar what is happening to our marker let me use another one this is our isobar right so when our isobar reaches a thousand upwards you must know that inside here there is what we call high pressure this is high pressure from thousand hectopascals calculated now we know that there is high pressure all right let's continue we must remember that we are talking about the winter season meaning our ocean and our land is not receiving any direct insulation or we could say enough insulation from the sun meaning we will not have rising or evaporation because of the air which is on our ocean and our land is not directly insulated or heated up by our sun enough because of we know that it is winter and in winter we have obviously what we call shorter days and longer nights that's why you might find yourself sleeping oh what the heck it is already seven and i'm still sleeping yes that is winter meaning our land and our ocean are not receiving enough insulation from the sun so there won't be too much evaporation to be able to uplift any air so there will be obviously sinking air so our area which is obviously south africa i'm from south africa will be using the map of south africa to understand what i'm actually teaching okay so this is obviously our what we call south africa right in south africa we know that this side it is our obviously what we call a never eat sour west this is side it is our west meaning this is our western cape right and in a western cape which ocean do we find we find the atlantic ocean and what do we know about the atlantic ocean we know one most important characteristic that the atlantic ocean has cold ocean it is cold and in the atlantic ocean we know that it is what we call cold right and what do we have this side our eastern side we have 
Devil, KwaZulu Natal. Which ocean do we find in Devil? The Indian Ocean. Yes, the Indian Ocean. What do we know about the Indian Ocean? We know that it is warm. It is the warm ocean, right? So this is our warm ocean. Okay, so now to better understand what the Semnums are saying, we have to know that there are three high pressure cells which affect South Africa during winter. Not one, guys. Three high pressure cells which affect South Africa. So what do we have here? We first have here our South Atlantic high pressure. So this is our first pressure, right? which is on our western cape side then on our eastern cape side we have what we call our south indian high pressure right this is what we have and not to we end there we also have what we call our kalahari high pressure these are the three anticyclones which affect south africa in winter all right so how do they actually affect south africa in winter we must know that in winter we obviously have what we call descending what we call descending air this air it is descending and it is cold right so we have descending air on our land let's not move to our kalahari first let's move to our south atlantic high pressure band so if our air it is descending on our obvious cold ocean it is obviously going to obviously do what deflect the cold air coming from the ocean into our land right and this area on the western cape will obviously experience cold condition so cold air will be deflected anti-clockwise into our land so what is this cold air that was deflected it is usually called the onshores right so the on shores because of it is entering our land so these are the on shores and these are what we call off shores all right guys we have to pass our metric okay let's continue so this area the western cape area will experience cold condition meaning hey my guy you will have to try and put on a bit of more what we call jackets not one but maybe even three when it comes to a western cape western cape feels the cold coming from the ocean into the land okay and you might be asked which weather conditions will affect the people of western cape we know that when it is winter there are obviously no clouds why are there no clouds because of there is no ascending air the ascending air it is the one that is responsible for creating clouds so there would be a little bit of more of precipitation so in this area that will mean there will be more of descending air so this air will obviously descend and diverge in our land it will descend and diverge right okay so let's move to our eastern part eastern part which is devil which weather condition do you usually find it we know that it is obviously also moving anti-clockwise but what will happen because of now we are facing a warm ocean this has to be different symptoms and come up with something new obviously what we know is that i have to firstly wipe this spot i'm sorry guys i'm wiping here so what will happen here is that this air will obviously be doing what it will be obviously sinking right and this is what we call our warm ocean our warm ocean obviously will obviously always have that moisture in it meaning it will obviously have some moisture some evaporation some bit of evaporation yeah so when that happened this cold dense air it will obviously be forced to also rise but not in a sharp man you must understand this guys when it rises it will obviously create a small anyana clouds in the ocean right there might be some clouds in our land and there might be a bit of precipitation experience 
by people in the Deben, you might say that could be the weather condition in Deben. You might say there could be light precipitation, not heavy precipitation, and not that dry, but then there might be some light precipitation. So what do we have here? We have our South Indian high pressure, right? In our South Indian high pressure, what is this cell called? This cell, it is usually given a name. It is also given a name. It is called our blocking cell, meaning it blocks a lot of moisture air from coming into our land to create a more evaporation and huge community number slabs. So it prevents this small Anyana moisture air, which is already on our Indian Ocean, from trying to enter our land right it prevents it it's called the blocking cell all right and obviously if this high pressure cells is given a name definitely this one has to be given one this one is called the region cell why is it the most important one because of we know that mid latitude cyclone which i spoke about in the video before this one also affects south africa in winter right it also affects south africa in winter so when we have this south atlantic high pressure cells in the western cape we are definitely safe from mid latitude cyclone what do i mean by that i mean when our mid latitude cyclone tries to approach our very own western cape it will obviously do what it will obviously be deflected further south why will it be deflected further south because of remember our south atlantic high pressure belt it is a high pressure belt meaning it is rotating anti-clockwise so when this cold front tries to approach our western cape this south atlantic high pressure will reach or deflect the mid latitude cyclone or the cold front from coming into western cape so it will deflect it anti-clockwise because of we know that it is a high pressure and mid latitude cyclone it's a low pressure and we know that air moves from a high pressure area to a low pressure area so when it tries to move to a high pressure area it will be deflected to move to a low pressure area not in an area where there is a high pressure okay before i could close this lesson i obviously have to go to our kalahari our kalahari it is the most important one i was thinking of skipping that one but then i have to do it okay let me wipe this thing and try to explain kalahari at its best form okay okay in order for us to better understand kalahari we obviously have to draw a pisciana sketch guys geography it is nice you have to like this video subscribe to my channel because of i'll be bringing you the joy of geography once you know one thing you will definitely know the next all right so this is winter we'll obviously begin with the winter kalahari so in winter the kalahari high pressure will move further south it will move towards our plateau so our plateau it is obviously what we call our land so this is what we call our plateau right this is our land and this is what we call our escarpment right this is our mountain escarpment all right and here we have what we call our very own ocean right this is our ocean so we know one thing that this it is winter so in winter there is what we call descending air right so the kalahari it is obviously influencing the descending air so meaning the mountain we will have the invasion layer below the escarpment this is what we call the invasion layer what is the invasion layer the invasion layer it is the layer which increases its temperature as it increases its height so its temperature increases as it increases its height so because of the descending air this area will obviously be forced to not increase its height so it will obviously be below the escarpment so what will obviously happen to the air coming from the shores it will obviously not be able to enter our land 
so this area will not be having any air entering or small air entering our plateau this is winter our kalahari it is here it forces the invasion layer to be below the escarpment so that there won't be some air coming from either the indian ocean or the atlantic ocean so there could be some precipitation or community number clouds but then what happens if we are not talking about winter yes if we are talking about summer our kalahari will obviously do the very opposite it will obviously move further north why further north because of there has been direct insulation from the sun hitting either our plateau or our ocean so there will be obviously what we call rising air so the rising air will force the kalahari to move further north right so the rising air will force the kalahari to move further north and obviously if the kalahari is forced to move further north even the invasion layer will be forced to move further north so our invasion layer will be here so this is our obvious what we call plateau and this is our escarpment and this is our very own ocean so now we know that the air will obviously be able to do what enter the plateau enter the land so as it enters the land communinimbus clouds or clouds will be obviously formed why will they be communinimbus clouds because of there is now rising air coming from the ocean towards our land and this will force condensation and obviously precipitation so we know that kalahari influences south africa in two different forms it has the wind the summer effect and it also has the winter effect so we know that in winter the western cape it is dry and everything but then in summer the deben receives heavy precipitation coming from obviously the indian ocean the warm one but then here there might be if it's summer here there might be some clouds but then not as they would be on the eastern parts of south africa okay guys this was the most unprepared lesson i guess you liked it because of i spoke how i feel all right like this video subscribe to my channel because of we have to move to what we call uh, uh, okay subscribe down below and tell me what do i have to do next okay